Line thirty-eight. 太阳中风，埋伏紧。太阳 struck by wind, pulses floating and tight. Now, right away, we should have this big flag. Wait a minute. Struck by wind means pulses floating and leisurely. Here, it's struck by wind, not cold. What they're saying right out front, but it has the struck the damage by cold pulse of floating and tight. 发热无寒 They're putting out heat and they fear cold. 身疼痛 The body hurts. 不寒出 Sweat's not coming out. 耳烦躁热 And they have vexation and irritability. That that they're vexed. 大青龙汤主持 Great, major green dragon decoction in English. I think it's called. Is your principal formula, okay? 若脉若脉微弱 If the pulse. Is、uh, minute and weak. Han Chu sweats coming out. Wu Feng Zhe, and there is fear of wind. Bu Ke Fu. Then you can't give them Da Qing Long Tang. Fu Zhe Zi Jue Ni. You give it to them, and they will suffer from Jue Ni from reversal for symptoms. The limbs will go cold. Jin. Uh, Uh, 金呃、uh, 金阳柔润，呃、uh, ，this 呃、uh, 金阳柔润 is it means that the the tendons have discomfort that there's this like ah in the body and the muscles are twitching. So because you gave them da qing long tang, they've had jue ni and there's tendon discomfort and muscle twitches. Ah,、uh, zi wei ni ye. This is the ni or the reverse being discussed here. So it doesn't necessarily mean the limbs are going to go cold. It means that the limbs are not going to get blood nourishment, and so they're going to show signs of less blood, not less chi. Less chi means they're going to go numb. They're going to have cold or whatever it is. Here it's less blood. So you have physical injury, physical pain symptoms, muscle twitching, signs of the blood not getting through,、uh, or the muscle tendon discomfort. That there's something wrong with the extremities because you gave them the wrong formula, and the chi is no longer reaching the extremities and turning the corner、uh, from yin to yang, yang to yin. Right? I mean, that's the whole point of the the extremities is that's where the chi takes a a change and goes back.、Um, So we want to quickly take a look here, and he differentiates. We've got Taiyang struck by wind with pulse floating tight, heat, and then it's got all these Ma Huang Tang symptoms, right? Fear of cold. It's got body pain.、Uh, there's no sweat. There's the addition of irritability, of vexation, and we use Da Qing Long Tang. So even though it's struck by wind, they have. Cold symptoms. They've got vexation. We're going to use this big formula, but it warns us if the pulse doesn't show that floating tight, even if they have everything else, if they've got wind signs, you can't give them this formula. And so we're about to have a big formula. Hence the name Da or Big or Major.、Uh, and so here he is. We're not joking around. Like in the NBA, this is like the really big one that's coming up.、Uh, You know, it's 90 grams of mahua. So, let's look at what he says. Ci zhong feng jian han mai ye. Here we have struck by wind, but we're seeing a cold pulse. Ah, fu zi wei feng. The floating is indicating wind. Feng zi shang wei. Wind damages the upright, the defense chi. I'm sorry, the defense. Jin zi wei han. The tightness shows cold. Han zi shang ying. Cold damages the nutritive. Ying wei ju bing, the nutritive and defense both have illness. So here we have an illness that's still in the tai yang. So it's not tai yang yang ming combined. This is nutritive and defense both combined into illness. Gu fa re wu han. Thus there is the putting out of heat, the showing of heat, the fear of cold. Shen tang tong ye, the body pains. Yeah, feng bing yu wei zhe. When the wind has extended itself into the way, and here I want to take a moment. He uses that bing, that annex character that I talked about. How you are go and you annex into something so that、uh, part of like Canada annexes the United States, and now we're all Canadians, even though this is still the United States. Yeah, I chose it that way on purpose. Ah.、Uh, 
So we have that situation. So I want you to picture, this is my surface, and this is my person over here, okay? And the wind is everywhere, and the wind is everywhere, and the wind is everywhere, but I don't get sick. And the wind is against my surface, but I don't get sick. And then something happens, and I get a little tired, and now the wind has annexed its way into the body a bit. So now I go around all day long, and the wind naturally just is this far into me. I now have a deficient surface, defense chi injured by wind. And that's how it works. All day long the wind is hitting us so we don't get sick. And then whatever reason, now all of a sudden that the wind will naturally extend this far into my body all the time. And so I fear wind because it comes inside me as opposed to meeting my surface. And that's all it is. That's what it means. The wind is on the outside. So there it is. Uh, and so he literally uses the character, the wind annexes and comes in. Feng bing yu wei It annexes into the defense. Now the defense chi area belongs to wind. It comes all the way through. Um, uh, feng bing yu wei zhe. Wei, and this leads to ying, nutritive, weak, ruo, and defense, strong. So that's not that strong doesn't mean that the defense is strong in a good way. It means that there's a lot of pernicious on the taking over the defense chi that has weakened the nutritive chi. So the strong is referring to the pernicious, and the weak is referring to our true chi. So I, I gave you a handout, right? And that handout, if you just look at it all the time and remind yourself, in the same sentence, I'm referring to yin in terms of pernicious or true chi, and yang in terms of pernicious and true chi. The sentence changes and the taiji symbols change. And I'm talking about a different thing. It's hard to keep track of it first. Han bing yu ying zhe. When cold annexes its way into the nutritive. So here's our skin. And now the cold hits our skin and it goes... And it goes a bit further. It's still on the surface, but it goes further. It's in our, our muscles. It's in there. It's causing pain because now the blood doesn't flow well because it's cold. You know, when things get cold, they don't flow. So I should never take my finger off these little characters. Um, so, Han Bing Yu So when the cold annexes its way in or takes over all the way to the, to the nutritive layer, this is the nutritive is strong, and the defense is weak. Well, the defense has to be weak if the cold's gone all the way through it. So now the pernicious is strong in the nutritive, and in the process, the barrier that's supposed to be here, right, I'm kind of like here, has been weakened. Our true chi is weak, and so it's come in. Whereas in the other one, the pernicious is strong on the surface, and therefore the nutritive is not able to communicate with the outside, and it gets weakened. So you see, again, we have that reverse flow of what those things mean. So, jin feng han liang shang zi. Today, or in this situation, we have wind and cold both damaged. It's both causing damage. Zi ying wei ju shi. Thus, the nutritive and the defense both are full, in excess, that they're suffering from excess symptoms. Gu bu han chu. So thus, we do not have sweat coming out. Our fan zao ye. And we have vexation. Yu da qing long tang. So we use da qing long tang. Fa han. To push out sweat. To qu. To get rid of the nutritive and defense wind cold. So we're going to use this one formula to expel pernicious both from the nutritive and the defense. It's a big formula. It's able to do both at the same time. Ruo mai wei ruo. If the pulse is minute and weak, Han Chu, sweats coming out, Wu Fang, fear of wind, someone like that. Wei, Ying Wei, Ju Xu. This is the Ying and the way the nutritive and the defense both are deficient. He's just described both have excess, pernicious. Now he's describing both have deficient upright Qi. So we've just had a switch again. We've got to look at those Tai Chi maps and switch it again. Fan, Fu, Qing Long Tang. If going against this or not paying attention to this, you give them Qinglong Tang, referring to Da Qinglong Tang, Zi Bi, then they will must or certainly Wang Yang destroy their Yang, have no Yang left, kill their Yang. Gu Sheng Jue Ni, leading to the growth of, to the creation of Jue Ni or reversal. Uh, Jin Dang, 
uh, the tendons have discomfort, rou run, the muscles twitch, zi zhi zhi ni, this was treatment going the wrong way. So when we look at an illness, we need to ask ourselves, when it's severe, is it severe enough that I'm looking at pernicious is causing excess here and here? Or is the illness so severe that I'm looking at deficiency of the true cheese at the nutritive and the defense? We've got to ask ourselves, when I look at these symptoms, stop and say, wait a minute, what's coming at me? All these symptoms. Am I looking at excess pernicious causing these symptoms? Or am I looking at the pernicious has weakened the system and so they have these symptoms? And then that decides how intense of a treatment you can give. You know, in the acupuncture, I talk a lot about you've got to judge their chi. And there's no perfect protocol. There's nothing you're supposed to do for this illness except judge their chi and then decide whether you need to bring up their jung chi so their body gets rid of the illness or whether you need to give them a treatment that's strong enough that disperses the pernicious so when their chi comes back, there's nothing hindering it and it fills in happily again. Same thing with herbs. It's all the same medicine. So let's look at Da Qing Long Tao. Major blue dragon, I don't know what they call it. Blue green dragon decoction, soup, decoction. Uh, I love the English word sometimes. It sounds, for me, I've lived in China much longer than I've lived in the United States. So things stop sounding cool to me in Chinese. You know, when I'd been there three years, I'd be like, do you know how to say protein in Chinese? It's dan bai zhi. Do you know what that means? It's the white stuff in the egg. How cool is that? The way you say protein in Chinese is white stuff in egg. And the Chinese would be like, uh, no, that means protein. I'd be like, no, no, but I, of course it means protein. But look at the characters you guys picked for this. It means dan, egg, bai, white, zhi, substance. How cool is that? They'd be like, no, it means protein. <laughs> right? And enough years have gone by, it means protein. It's just dan bai zhi. Right? I, I, I don't get excited anymore about those things. But... I'm looking in English, and it's like, white tiger decoction. I'm like, cool, white tiger. I'm like, wait a minute, it's bai hutang. And it no longer registers to me. So da ching long tang, I'm like, okay. I don't even see the words anymore, just it's a formula. And then it's like, major blue-green dragon decoction. I'm like, oh, yeah. I want to put on like a Chinese shirt and be like, yeah. You have a Chinese shirt on. I do, sort of, yeah. yeah. Okay, I still get excited. So, uh, da ching long tang. Boy, it's going to be a long three days. Uh, Ma Huang, six liang. So we get rid of the, the, the joints. If you ever see Ma Huang, it can be in there. So we don't want the little joints in there. So we want the little, nice, even little spots in there. Uh, so we, we, we want uh, six liang of Ma Huang. We want two liang of uh, Guizhou. Uh, and here he's describing Ma Huang with the flavor of being warm and sweet. Right? He's, he's kind of switching in and back and forth depending on what he wants the Mahuang more to do in a formula. Uh, it's interesting. Pay attention to how he changes that sometimes in the, uh, in the Cheng Wuji commentaries. Guizhou, he's got as acrid and hot. Uh, he's got Gan Sao. He wants it prepared. Zhe Gan Sao, Ar Liang. So he wants it sweet. And interestingly, whenever he says Zhe Gan Sao, he always says that the flavor is neutral as opposed to warm. Uh, and sheng gan sao is supposed to be cooling in the body and yet neutral. And it's interesting how he'll always add that character. It's interesting to me. Then he says, uh, says the xing ren, and he only uses 40 kernels. And we're using the bitter, sweet, and warm of it. So now he's got some bitter in here as well. So, and then he follows the shen jiang, and he's using three liang of shen jiang, and he says it's acrid and warm. So, uh, da zao, we now have 10, uh, 12 da zao, and again, you want to chop it up, and it's going to be sweet and warm. And then the most famous line of shirgao usage, which all of us at some point who are into shirgao have tried to figure out how to get a chunk the size of an egg. Because you use shirgao ru ji zi da. You want to use shirgao the size of a chicken egg. Well, of course, I mean, you know, is that a jumbo chicken egg, a double A, a single A, is that a little egg? I mean, you know, I, I don't know. But I think it's pretty neat that all of a sudden, later on, he's going to have very clear amounts. But for, for here, all of a sudden, he's set a chicken, the size of a chicken egg. 
Would you like to know why? Why does he, at certain points, give us an exact measurement, and at certain points, he says, the size of a chicken egg? It's a rhetorical pause. I don't actually want you to answer because that would ruin my whole thunder here. All right? The reason is very simple. These are not Zhang Zhongjing's formulas. He did not write these formulas. They came from all the old books that he gathered and found. And if they were written by different people in different times, and that particular formula said the size of a chicken egg, then you wrote down size of a chicken egg because he was respecting where these formulas came from. They're not his formulas. He's bringing us a gathering of all the formulas from all the books that he mentions in the preface of the Shang Han Lun, which is on our website, and you should really watch over and over again if you haven't already. That's why. It's as simple as that. It's always a simple answer. Uh, but if you're me, you like... You get the, uh, the chocolate egg that comes with the plastic thing and you open up the Cadbury eggs and then you fill it with sugar powder and you close it and then you weigh it to see what that is. I mean, It's a lot of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Uh, but he uses a lot of sugar. There's very little, little sugar. Uh, so we have this formula and we've got Ma Huang, Guizhi, Gan Cao, Xing Ren, Sheng Jiang, Da Zhao, Shigao. Okay? So let's take a look at this formula. Do we have Ma Huang Tang in this formula? We have Ma Huang, Xing Ren, uh, Guizhi, and Gan Cao. Okay, we've got Ma Huang Tang in this formula. Do we have Guizhi Tang in this formula? We've got Guizhi, we've got Gan Cao, we've got Sheng Jiang, and we've got Da Zhao. But we're missing Bai Zhao. So we don't have Guizhi in this formula. We can't say that this is Guizhi and Ma Huang put together into a neat thing because we're treating both the wind and the cold, the yin and the wei, the defense and the nutritive. What are the two great formulas that do that? Guizhi Tang, Ma Huang Tang. Shouldn't we put them together and do that? Obviously, if I'm stalling like this, it's because it is Guizhi Tang. Bai Shao. No, they've got vexing. Why would you want to give a restraining herb to someone who's got vexing? But you need cold. So you need a cool, cold herb that is acrid and sweet, not that is restraining and sour. So you slide Bai Shao out and you put in Shigao. So we have Guizhi, Shigao, Sheng Jiang, Da Zhao, Gan Zhao. Guizhi Tang with Bai Shao switched to Shigao. And then we have Ma Huang Tang with a whole wallop amount of Ma Huang. Okay? But we're not too worried about the Mahuang going too crazy because we've got some Shigao to keep the system calm, and it's actually not that big of a deal. So, I've just told you all what I've just told you about this formula, and let's see what he's going to comment about the formula itself. Xingan Junwei Fasan, acrid and sweet, both are used to push and spread. Ran Feng Yi Xinsan, Thus, it is for when there's wind, it is good to, beneficial to have acrid and dispersing. Han yi gan. When there's cold, it's beneficial to sweet. Fa han. So if we want sweating, xing gan xiang he. We combine acrid and sweet. Nai neng fa san, ying wei zhi feng han. And so, with this sweet and acrid, we are able to move and disperse the cold and the wind that is in the nutritive and the defense. So now we're going to use uh, war, uh, sweet and acrid at the same time to affect the nutritive and the defense. Ma Huang, Gan Cao, Shi Gao, Xing Ren. So Ma Huang, Gan Cao, Shi Gao, Xing Ren. Yi Fa San, Ying Zhong Zhi Han. We're using it to disperse and push out the cold that is in the ying or defense, the nutritive layer. And a lot of people panic at that and say, what do you mean shirgao is in there to disperse cold? But shirgao is an interesting herb because it's acrid. And so it's maybe cold, but it's going to cool while the warming herbs go in and everything is venting out and the cold gets dispersed. Please also remember, this is not in the yin layers. This is not they have cold and are suffering cold. The damage is a cold pernicious. They have heat 
symptoms. So you've got to wrap your head around the word cold pernicious, but using cold herbs to treat it. You might think, well, why does that? Well, Baishao is cool, and you describe Baishao every time you use Guajir Tang. Okay? So, cold pernicious heat signs. You need a cold herb to get rid of the cold pernicious, because they're not cold, it's cold that's created heat in the body. <laughs> it's, got a... it's always fun to play with that noodle in your head a little bit. Um, then we have Guajir, Jiang, Ginger, and Zao, Dates, Yi Jie Chu, Wei Zhong Zhi Feng to relieve and push out the wind that is in the defense. So we've got one group of herbs that's going to move around what's trapped in the nutritive layer by the cold pernicious, and another group of herbs that are in there that are going to relieve what is vexing or causing problems with the, uh, up, with the defense chi. So, anything interesting in our cooking method? Let's take a quick look. And we take our seven herbs, and we use nine shards of water. Of course, once again, we always first boil our ma huang down to sheng. We then scoop out the, the mu, the, the stuff at the top. We put in the rest of our herbs. We boil down three more. We do some more cleaning off the top. And then we wen fu, we warm take yi sheng, a specific measurement. And when we get that slight, almost as if sweat, uh, then that's perfect. Then he follows up because we've got potentially 90 grams of mahuang with 30 grams of guajir giving it a push, a direction. The guajir takes the mahuang up. And we've got shengjiang in there. We've got a whole lot of acrid in here. So that mahuang can easily end up going out to the surface and pushing out a lot of sweat by accident. So he says, follows the next sentence, Han Chu Duozhe. Those whose sweat came out too much, or there's a lot of sweating, one fun funger. Then, uh, and some you'll see some edition saying one fun pool, uh, and that means literally uh, use a powder puff. How great is that? Now, what does that mean? It means you have to dab them with a cloth or something. So they're pouring out lots of sweat, and instead of being like, oh, bummer or instead of just changing their shirt, you got to dry them. you got to take something and go... And you got to... As the water's coming out, you're like... It's like whack-a-mole, but like, like, like a, a sofa sweat. You know, like... Because you don't want that getting cold on their surface and the illness coming in. So you gave it to them. It was too much. They popped a big sweat, and you're wiping them down. You're drying them. But he doesn't say scour them or rub them. He uses one fun funger. 1,800 years ago. It's just, I love this book, right? So, um, so, yi fu han zhe, yi fu han zhe, those who have sweat after one dose, ting hou fu, do not give them any more. Don't take any more. I don't know if I talked about this last time. I'm certain I did, but how many of our patients who are the migrant workers uh, who spend money on a formula that's hard for them. And we, we try and write them really cheap formulas. Uh, or we just try and give them the herbs because it's guaranteed that they don't want to waste it. And if you wrote them three doses but they got better on one, they're going to take the other two because they spent that money. Even when you tell them not to take the Even money. when you say, if you do, now I tell them that it's really important because you could get a stroke. I just lie. <laughs> I'm like, this is really way shit, right? And then like, they're afraid to take the first one to begin with, and like, whatever. <laughs> but I mean, I've discovered that it's just like, you know, I, I just flat out lie to these people now. It's like, you know, it's really, really bad, and something's going to happen, like, you know, you, you just, you know, you'll end up like a foreigner. Uh, you know, I don't say that. Uh, so, um, you can see that this was a problem way back then, right? And 1,800 years ago. I mean, you're dealing with farmers. You're dealing with simple people. Not everybody was your educated clientele. Not everybody was the Bai Xing, the hundred families, right? These are simple people. And they go to the effort and they take it. And they're like, well, I mean, uh, you got what I'm saying. Han Duo Wang Yang. When the sweating is much, it, it, it damages, kills, it exhausts, it uses up the Yang. Uh, Sui Xu, following this deficiency created by too much sweating, Wu uh, Feng, then they have fear of wind, so the deficiency caused them to be afraid of wind. Fan Zhao Bu De Mian Ye, 
they end up with vexing and are unable to sleep. Ah. So, too much sweating, they end up deficient, their signs are fear of wind, okay, just give them greater your tongue again, right? But fear of wind, vexing, and he adds, they do not, they're unable to achieve sleep. Ah. Now, Julianne and I go on all the time how much of a pain it is to carve this stuff into bamboo. I mean, please don't ever think the Shanghaman was on tortoise shells. That wasn't that long ago, okay? But it's a pain. So you don't add something in here, a symptom, unless there's a reason that's specific to this or is going to follow because later on we're going to have a tiao, a line, where they're vexed in the day, but at night they can sleep. Right? Everything has a yin and a yang. I mean, it's not like every single person is going to come vexed and can't sleep. They're going to be like, yeah, all day long I'm really vexed, but the time the night comes I'm tired and I go to sleep. No problem. You're like, but the Shang Han Lun said they shouldn't be able to sleep. Well, the Shang Han Lun said also they can sleep. It's all in here. Buddha Mianyan.